Hey, what's going on, y'all? I am doing this review of this Mr. Pen combo kit. Um, this is a response to a question asked on Amazon about this extension arm here, whether or not it was sturdy, and also the size of the pencils or the pencil lead that goes into this thing here. So I decided I'll make a quick video so I can demonstrate it as opposed to just texting a, a answer. I'm a visual person, so, you know, I like to see things and hopefully you do too. So this is the extension arm that um, a customer was asking about. It's pretty easy here. You put it onto the main thing. All of these extensions have a little slot. It's kind of hard to mess it up. You tighten it down. This right now is extended as far out as the arm can go. But if you twist this little thing here on top, you can slide it over and adjust it to whatever size you need. It's a little, this is my first time using it, so it was a little bit, a little bit sticky. Um, I also have a review of this paper that I'm using. So look out for that. What I'm gonna do is review a bunch of color pencils and show the way that they react to this paper. It's a pretty fine tooth paper, but it's thick. So I use it for watercolors, my um, color pencils and things like that. So I'm not the, the best skilled at drawing circles even with a compass, but there we go, got it together. Now, this is the, the lead that comes with the pencil. So you see here, I took that extension off. This is just the regular uh, compass. I like it, it's pretty sturdy. It has the screw in there, so once you set it, it's kind of hard to, you know, mess up your lines by just slipping and things like that. So that's pretty good. It also comes with this mini compass that comes in handy for doing smaller things a little bit quicker and everything. Because like I said, I'm not the best with compasses anyway. So I use the small one for small circles, the big one for big circles. <laughs> So this lead here is actually a two millimeter lead. Now this is a pack of replacement pencil leads that I got, as you can see, they're by Mr. Pen, and they are also, oh, that's annoying. I don't have a mic, so I'm recording this audio on my phone. Anyway, there we go. So two millimeter lead, this is, um, a pack of six packs of color pencils, color leads, and then it has like three packs of the regular black graphite lead. And I guess I'll do a review on that as well. I'll do these things because that's how I figure out what products I'm going to buy by regular old people telling me what's up. I don't really trust businesses to tell you how good their products are. In fact, a little later today, I'm going to do a review on some acrylic mirrors that I got and I was dissatisfied and of course they're not available on Amazon anymore the company then disappeared and all that stuff so I'll do a review so you guys don't get played as well but anyway I chose this uh, light green color just to um, show that these um, these extra color pencil leads they do fit into the compass. They work good. They 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 sturdy. I can make a bunch of circles right quick. This is the um, sacred geometry flower of life pattern we got going on here. But there we go. As you see, quick little circles. The lead isn't slipping out of place or anything like that. I don't have to put down a whole lot of pressure to get the the lines all good. And um, that's that. Again. Here we go with the regular compass. So, in addition to using the lids and things like that, they give you this tool, this um, attachment that you can put in here. In this thing, you can put pretty much any writing utensil that you have around. I just grabbed a regular old pen here just to show how it works a little bit. But anything that can fit down inside of that hole pretty much you can use it with your compass. And that was one of the main reasons why I got this thing. Um, I didn't want to be 
stuck just using leads, even though I got the color pencil lead so that I would have a variety of colors. But if you want to use things like actual color pencils or, um, I don't know, anything you can fit down inside of that, um, inside of that hole, including if you do things like mark on metals, you know, anodized steels or plastics or anything like that, you can put one of your uh, marking tools down inside of there and use it like that. It also, I didn't show it because I, to be honest, I don't know how to use a fountain pen, <laughs> but if you see here on the bottom left, that's a fountain pen attachment that can also uh, go into the, uh, the compass, but I don't know how to do that. So anyway, this is the lead sharpener that comes with the thing. And for the life of me, you know, it just doesn't work. Every time I try, I end up breaking a lead. So what I did, I got this other pencil sharpener here, which has these small holes for two to, I believe, three millimeter lead. And as you can see, no breaking of the leg, get that real good fine point going on there. So as I was thinking about it, I'm like, man, how can I get this pencil sh sharpener that came with it to work? So it kept breaking because the lead was too thick. Even the lead that came with it wouldn't sharpen up. So as you see, I got a 332nd drill bit, stuck it in there just enough to not hit the razor, but open up the plastic at the beginning of, of the... Uh, sharpener and look at that throw that thing in there and I get the same results that I got with the other lead pencil sharpener so I know it's an extra step but if you're even slightly handy maybe that'll work for you if I helped you out like and subscribe thanks